I hope you like my background decorations for this video. Nice green box thing. And um, some weird strange dice. I don't really know if these are the green things I could find. And uh, also this is apparently the only green shirt I own. So it's a great start to the video. <laughs> Hello soap lovers and welcome to another adventurous Monday with soap. Uh, so St. Patrick's Day is on th Thursday. So I figured I would have a little St. Patrick's Day video because everyone seems to love St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. Um, so I have printed out um, a little leprechaun's hat template. Here's the like part and then here's the brim and the top. There were directions online that came with this, but I decided not to print them out because I think I, think I feel like I can uh, figure them out. So I was supposed to print this out on like green and yellow paper, but I don't really have any green and yellow paper, so I'm just gonna color it in with, uh, with, with these markers here. Okay, you should know that I worked really hard just now to uh, color, color these in for you. And apparently the yellow I had is like highlighter yellow. Like here, I'll show you the marker. This is the marker I used, all right? And this is the color it came out. Those are not the same colors at all. Apparently the um, the black I used to color in the buckle is um, a smelly marker. So now it smells like, it kind of smells like an ice cream cone almost. Like, I don't know, but it smells really good. All right, so now I'm gonna cut out these. These are like so wet with marker. Uh, so now I'm gonna cut this out. This is making such a satisfying noise. Like, listen. I hope you could hear how satisfying that was. So, um, it says glue this tab. We all know how much uh, glue is kind of not, not really awesome at all. So I have tape, like usual. <laughs> hey, look at that, leprechaun hat ball, round thing, whatever. I don't, I have no idea what I just said. All right, I've cut out the uh, top of the hat and the brim. So I guess you're supposed to fold these things up for the brim too. I assume that the brim goes on the bottom of the hat like this with these things in there. Okay, one brim. Now for the top. All right, so uh, yeah, I now have this cute little leprechaun hat thing. I'm not gonna lie, but when I found this online, I kind of thought that it was gonna be uh, like big enough for me to wear it as like a leprechaun hat, but it's it's not really. I mean, I guess I should have figured it was a leprechaun hat, so, and leprechauns are tiny, so, oh well. Let's see if I can wear it for the extent of my outro. If I just like don't move at all, maybe I'll be able to wear it. All right. So that's all I have for this week's video, guys. Ooh, already failed, all right. So that's all I have for this week's video, guys. If you liked it, go down and give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter, all, Twitter, Twitter. All the uh, information about that is in the box below. Uh, as long, along, I can't talk. Oh, fell off again. Also down there is my email address if you want to send me any ideas or things you want me to do. Go ahead and make yourself one of these. Uh, maybe you can make like a real human size one because apparently I have failed at making a human size one and just had made, have made a tiny one. And also happy Thanksgiving guys. Happy Thanksgiving, wow. And happy St. Patrick's Day. And happy St. Patrick's Day, guys, however you celebrate it, or maybe you don't, I don't know. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every Adventurous Monday. I'll see you guys next week. Stay clean.